Today we're going to take a look at uh, the Cast for Me application for Windows, which is a IPTV server for sharing live TV from a TV tuner connected to your PC uh, out to other devices on the network or even publishing uh, live TV channels out to the internet. Uh, so I've gone and installed the Cast for Me application from www.castforme.com. I'm using the download link at the top of the page. Um, so we're going to run it up, take a look at how you set it up. So Cast for Me, when you start it up, you'll see the Devices tab lists the devices that are connected to your machine. Uh, at the moment, I've got a HAPARG 930C, which does DVB-T, DVB-C, and analog. Uh, for this particular demonstration, we're going to set up DVB-T. So I click the Setup button on the device. Um, in my case, I'm in New Zealand, and I'll select my local transmitter and hit the Scan button. So it takes a couple of seconds to start the device off and then kicks off the scan. Uh, in this particular case, it's gone and found, I don't know, 25 channels or so. So I hit the OK button to save them, and OK out of there. So now on the Channels tab, you can see the list of channels that have been set up. And at this point, it's entirely functional and ready to work. Um, by default, it's enabled HTTP and DLNA access, but I can double click on a channel and, and change the configuration to add other settings like publishing to the internet using HTTP Live or broad, uh, broadcasting to the local network using UDP, uh, where it can be sending unicast or multicast. So to demonstrate it working, um, I've installed VLC, which is a um, great uh, multi-platform uh, media player, which works really well. So the easiest way for me to demonstrate it is to use its DLNA feature. So I bring up the playlist and click on Universal Plug and Play. And here it's detected the Cast for Me server and the list of channels that are available. So I can simply double click on a channel to get it playing. So it takes a couple of seconds to start the device. And then we'll see some video. Um, and to change channels I can simply double click on another channel. And there we go, it's the, the second channel playing. Uh, in Cast for Me uh, on the Channels tab, you can see a little bit of status information. So I've only got a single uh, tuner connected to the machine, so uh, it's showing me the channel that's currently um, streaming, and it's showing me the other channels that can be streamed at the same time because they're on the same frequency um, as this digital channel. Uh, the other channels are not available. Uh, because there's no extra tuners that can provide those channels. The user can simply change channels though to uh, to close off the current stream and open a new one. Uh, and the activity log lists some information about what's going on and streams that are currently active. And that's it. That's how you set up and use Cast for Me. Uh, we'll publish some other videos that show you things like uh, streaming to the internet using HTTP Live and other sort of uses.